In the year 1344, you're talking about almost 90 some years, 92 years ago. The Wahhabi sect decided to demolish the cemetery and the shrines of Al Baqi'. Those who go to the Baqi'a now, they see that it is a demolished area. Open graves of our beloved Imams, shrines of our Imams are exposed. Before there used to be shrines covering these graves. The Wahhabis decided to demolish all these domes and shrines built on the top of the Al-Baqi, honoring our beloved Imams, Ahlul Bayt salam, and other figures and the companions of the Prophet as well. 92 years ago, since they came to power, since they rose to power, they have been very systematic in demolishing Islamic heritage in that area, in that region. They started with the Baqi'ah, but they continued their plan up till today. Every Islamic heritage, every historic building has been demolished in Mecca and in Medina. So for example, the house that belongs to the Prophet وسلم, in which him and his wife Khadija lived in Mecca was demolished. The house the Prophet was born in, in Mecca, was demolished, turned into a public library, and the exact part that belongs to the house of the Prophet was turned into public bathrooms. The house of our Imams, one by one, Al-Imam al-Sadiq, Al-Imam al-Sajjad in Medina. I remember in 1983 when I went to Hajj, the first time I went to Hajj, the house of Al-Imam Zain al-Abideen and Al-Imam al-Sadiq, both their houses existed till 1983. After that, they demolished. Under the pretext of expansion, expanding the masjid, they ruined basically every single historic building in Mecca and Medina. The houses of the Sahaba, the houses of Ahlul Bayt, the house of the Prophet Now when you go to Mecca, you do not feel the spirituality anymore. What do you see other than huge malls, shopping centers, High-rising buildings. Even the Masjid al-Haram has been completely changed. The only thing that they have not touched yet is the Kaaba itself. Anything else in the Masjid al-Haram was demolished, was changed again in the name of expansion. In the name of expansion, they basically ruined all Islamic Historic buildings in both cities, in Mecca and in Medina. Indeed, last year there was a report published by some Western uh, newspapers like Independent in the UK. It says that the Saudi government now was a planning, or is a planning actually, to remove the remains of the Prophet himself from his masjid, from his place, to the baqi and demolish the grave of the Prophet as well. Now, they may do that, they may not, but it seems that they are testing the water to see how Muslims will react to that. If they see Muslims are reacting violently, they may back off, but if not, who cares? Again, in the name of expanding the masjid, of the Prophet وسلم, they would remove the remains of the Prophet وسلم, the holy body of the Prophet وسلم, from his masjid to the Baqi'ah. And this is another scheme, another 
slap in the face of Islam, my dear brothers and sisters. At the time we see in Western countries, they preserve every single historic building and turn that building into their own national heritage. In Mecca and Medina, we see every single Islamic historic building has been demolished and removed. What does this tell you? What does this tell you? Actions speak louder than words, my dear brothers and sisters. It shows vividly that there is a plan to remove all the Islamic sites, to demolish anything that reminds people of early days of Islam and the history of our religion. Very obvious. Why? Because they are afraid people will turn these places into temples and instead of worshipping Allah, they may worship the Prophet. Nonsense. Completely nonsense. Who would worship the Prophet? Who would worship the Prophet? No Muslim would worship the Prophet. Muslims every day declare in their salah, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abdu wa rasuluh. I attest that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah and the servant of Allah. Don't fool us by telling us we are afraid you guys may turn these places into temples and you may worship them. No, we're not naive. We're not naive. We're not that backward to worship humans. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has enlightened, enlightened the heart and the mind of over 1.6 billion Muslims. They will not worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The days of Jahiliya is gone in which People used to worship an idol. Yes, today, the same people who have been fighting our Islamic heritage, they are trying their best to make us worship another form of idols, human idols. They want us not to worship Allah, not to follow the Quran, rather follow their aggressive rules and make give sanctity to certain rulers who have no legitimacy at all. That's what they are trying to do. To give sanctity to those who have usurped power and appointed themselves as guardians of Muslims. That's what they are doing today. No Muslim will worship a human being. 